Hi friends, today we're going to be taking a look at another sort where we're adding ION, or that shun sound. Remember that ION is a state of being, it's a noun suffix, okay? And so far we've been looking at adding that ION with no spelling changes. But today we're going to be taking a look at two different kinds of spelling changes. Um, if the base word, like explode, ends with a DE or a D, then we're going to be looking at D S I O N. Okay, so you're changing that D to an S I O N. Okay, so I think this header is a little confusing right there. So I might call this a D dropper. I'm going to put an X on there to help me remember that that's something that goes away and I change it to S I O N, that shun sound. So I've got explode to explosion, okay? So I can take a look right here, and if I chop off that S-I-O-N, I can see that there's a spelling change. That D was dropped. In fact, that D-E was dropped, okay? So if a base word ends with a D-E or a D, we change it to S-I-O-N in order to make it a noun suffix. So explode, the state of exploding, explosion, okay? Similarly to base words that end with an E, Okay, um, when we have a base word that ends with a T-E, we're going to drop that E before adding I-O-N. Because then we've got that word part shun, right? And that T changes from that T sound, like an operate, to operation. Okay, so if I take a look right here and chop off that I-O-N suffix, I see my base word with that E drop. Okay? So as I'm looking through, I've got base words that are in DE, base words that are in TE, and then I've got their derived nouns. So go ahead and watch and think with me, and you can kind of mark up your words in the same way that I am afterwards. So just looking for my base words to start. Any of them that end with DE or D. Now this word is allude, and it really means to hint at or mention. And so you can allude to something by hinting at it or mentioning it without going in deep length, okay? So that's what that word allude means. And I wrote the words hint at or mention because that one's hard for me and um, it helps me to remember that. And then I've got conclude. Okay, so then I've also got base words that end with T-E. Create, imitate, illustrate, decorate. Okay, right, so we're going to change these words into noun suffixes by following my pattern, following my rule. And as I do so, I'm going to mark up the word like we did explosion and operation so I can further investigate those spelling changes. So I've got erosion. Erode means to get chipped away, okay? So I'm going to kind of draw a mountainside here. And I've got all this water that's chipping away at that. Okay, so a little picture to erode is to kind of chip away. So erosion is my mountainside, this water. Some of that mountain's taken up with that water and sort of chipped away. It's after the erosion. Got creation. Oop. Let's go ahead and look at that base word erode inside of erosion. Okay, so that one we had a D E that changed to S I O N. Now look at creation. You see uh, chopping off that T I O N. See my base word create, right? Where I had an E drop. Oops. I'm not going to get that T, right? Create, right? An E drop before making it creation. Illusion, the state of mentioning or hinting at something. So this isn't like an illusion, like a, a magician's illusion. It's a state of hinting at something. So I take a look here. I'm going to chop off that S-I-O-N suffix. And look here and see that I had a D-E drop. I won't change to S-I-O-N. 
conclusion, same thing. Here's my base word conclude, where that D, E was dropped for S, I, O, N. Invasion, another D, E drop. And got S I O N. Comprehend. Oops, that was a base word. Comprehend. Let's stick that here at the bottom. Comprehend and then comprehension. So this one, it just had a D that changed to that S-I-O-N. And then expand to expansion. Expand means to make something wider, right? And so the state of expanding is expansion. The expansion was great. Take a look here. Underline my base word. Notice that that D changed to an S-I-O-N. Imitation. Take a look here. I O N, I see that E drop. Imitate is to copy, right? And the imitation. We've got some um, artwork out in our hallway right now that's a copy of something. So we've got some imitations out in the hallway. And decoration. I chop off that I O N, I see there's an E drop there. And then illustration. Chop off that I O N. And see illustrate. So looking here, looks like we're going from verbs to nouns, right? Verbs to nouns on all of those as well. All right, friends, go ahead and make sure that you sort your words, draw any pictures on them to help you remember any of those meanings. Um, write your sort in your notebook and make sure that you also go through and mark it these derived nouns looking at any spelling changes that happened. Thanks for thinking with me.